happy new year <laughs> welcome back to my channel if this is if you're a returning subscriber and if you're a returning viewer hey welcome back why haven't you subscribed if you're it's the first time i've seen name is chijin and thank you for tuning to my channel and i hope you subscribe after this video Ooh, today this is actually gonna be the first video of the year Ooh, come on, come on, come on. So this video is actually gonna be like a gratitude video. We're still here, right? We're still alive, we're still in good health. So I'm grateful for so many things. To this video, I just want to celebrate my them. I want to celebrate several things. I want to celebrate life for every one of us that's still alive. We're very grateful, God. Thank God, we're still here. We're still here. We're still here. It's a blessing, and glory be to God for real. So one of the other things I'm going to be celebrating is um, my first over 200 views. <laughs> so my first over 200 views, and that actually occurred on the video I posted with my sister, that my sister's tag. Thank you guys for the support you had and because, do you know that the more you watch videos, like the more you watch YouTube videos from the beginning to the end, the more you give the person opportunity, the person that you're watching the video, opportunity for others to interact to and for more people to get interested because if you watch the video from the beginning to the end, I don't know if you know that, but if you watch the, beginning, the video from the beginning to the end, you're giving the, the channel opportunity to be seen more. So I believe it's because of how that video was, a lot of people come related with it and follow the video and that's why it had a lot of views. Thank you. For enjoying the video i'm glad i we i was part of the video and thank you anyways for appreciating it the way you could. Yeah, another thing to celebrate is that we are growing little by little it's slow but it's steady really i'm really grateful right now we are about 81 subscribers i think thank you guys i really feel when to go <laughs> went from 72 like it was like stagnant and almost every day i'm like nobody wants to subscribe i used to always bother myself for many other states but i'm grateful for every one of you every one of every one of you 81 people supporting me god bless you all and we hope we grow more because i see the growth i see the growth and i appreciate it and it's good to celebrate a little success so that when the big ones come they will just speak for themselves right so yeah i'm grateful thank you so much so it's a new year new life new resolutions what are your new life new year resolutions do you have one because me i don't normally take new year resolutions too seriously especially in my 20s i started taking in i started and I, I then became um, less um over hyper about all this is now um celebrations like christmas like um, new year i just i'm just grateful every time i realize i'm alive even if sometimes you know you wake up and you know remember that you are even alive you just think you're just there but when you have the idea like whoa i'm still alive it's a new day whoa um whenever i realize i'm alive i'm just grateful to god and i don't count it as new year thing or christmas or easter or all of the celebration we always do I just counted that one more day wow god i'm very grateful i just stopped the new year new life thing i just try my best to, that every year i try to get better but i think this year i'm kind of having ideas like i'm trying trying to think back and want to i'm trying to think back of um, making new year resolutions right first of all let me share mine with you after you share yours with me on the comment section will you do that i'll be glad so one of my new year resolution is um <laughs> many of my resolutions are going to laugh about them trying to see the good in people even if um most times i find it really hard to make friends so i prefer most times being on my own even if i can be extremely friendly when you meet me i can be oh hi all this very communicative but i don't know how to keep friends and there were reasons for that anyways in the past so i didn't take friendship ser too seriously though it's precious to me but i didn't take keeping friends seriously anymore because of some experiences i had but we're all good uh, it's not it's, it's necessary when you meet the right people anyways 
or a time i'm gonna get there so um maybe i'm gonna be a little bit free with myself this time and try to see good in others even if i've had some funny rock past about friendship and relating with people generally uh, supporting people even if they don't support me most times i i tend to like I, f I feel like i tend to overdo sometimes one of my new year resolution is low expectations from people so even if i support people and i don't get the same support back i'm not gonna let it hurt me and maybe i'm gonna be i'm gonna withdraw a little bit like i usually do but it will not still make me like um not support the person when i can i'll definitely do and i will not expect anything because sometimes you can't give all you have like you can't do a lot for people and then if you like get, get if you like make that have such feeling of expectation towards them for them to give you the same energy you're giving them they kind of take it as an entitlement feeling i don't know why or i didn't feel like i was entitled to support you and i wasn't stupid either but i'm not going to do so much of that expectation oh i'm supporting this person now this person doesn't support me or oh, what did i do all those kind of things i'm not going to, i'm going to cut i am cutting my expectations to like one millimeter if there's anything even lesser than that yeah another thing is being able to love yourself being able to love myself before expecting anybody to love me yeah being able to appreciate myself i've always tried to view this um um try to have this form of confidence of speaking my mind and stuff but this time around i'm going to work towards appreciating and loving whatever i do without expecting anything no appreciating and loving whatever i do be before ex like before anybody loves me whether they do or they don't i just love and appreciate what i do i'm just telling you also to do the same because we are all growing together oh and this year i want to try to mind my business more minding my business in the aspect of not like i'm being nosy in people's issues or, or in aspect of being too caring about certain things and asking too much questions for example i go home very embarrassed <laughs> i'm just going to expose myself here i go home very embarrassing and i got into one very embarrassing situation whereby i saw a friend that i thought was pregnant and then that was earlier this year and i was like whoa congratulations are you i actually asked her if she was pregnant because she made a post and it was during that did you care period then she actually replied me yeah like yes that she was expecting a baby and i was like wow i'm so happy for you congratulations she did not answer me after some minutes i was like why are you ignoring me because <laughs> i was not asking her why why are you ignoring me because it was on a whatsapp chat and then she said no i'm not ignoring you i was like okay i just wanted to congratulate you whatever whatever and then the conversation ended there but do you know the point do you know that i later realized that i was only assuming i was actually doing it out of care but it, i actually thought about it in a second way that was actually like i was i was being too nosy no minding my business but if i see somebody that is actually that has a that has um, a good news to share or shares their good news i'm going to i'm going to congratulate you when i see that somebody is weeping or uh, mourning over somebody's death i always try my best unless i don't see it if i see it i always say something about it i just feel i have this um feeling oversized feeling of empathy and sometimes it's it bounce back it bounce back on me and i'm just going to try this year to mind my business more my point is that after everything i found out that she wasn't actually pregnant so i was just being nosy and i just bear our it made me look very stupid because she didn't tell me later though we are not so so close but i feel like i feel like maybe if i had minded my business taking it as one of these challenges I thought because it looked real and it was beautiful. Me, I love children, I love kids, anything about kids, like I'm number one there, but I didn't mind my business and I and I felt stupid in the end. But this year I will try. It's not gonna be easy for my kind of person, but I'm gonna try to mind my business in that aspect and not not show too much concern because it makes you look so stupid sometimes.
that's actually true it makes you look like you know the new resolution i would think of is um practicing what we preach and learning to teach others and learning from others and not acting like you're better than everybody even if you've been um, encouraged or been appreciated by people on things you do like most times i actually notice that we are always ready to, to teach but not let, ready to learn from others we're always ready ready to teach and we like we always make statements of don't judge don't be judgmental judgmental issue but we always judge one another all the time all the time directly and indirectly i don't want to know how you think you don't judge or whatever way we judge each other just that we should be we should be critical about our judgments or like like judge is it like say if you want to say things like your opinion can actually be a judgment to somebody else so let's be ready to learn as just we teach we should be practitioners we should practice what we preach and ready to learn from others and judge less because we all make judgments one way or the other whether we agree to this or not learn to learn from others as much as we want to teach because most times in the african in the Af especially in the among the africans eh, we are always ready to be like oh don't do that this is not actually how it's supposed to be you're supposed to do it this way you're supposed to do it the other way but when they give you correction you won't pick it as a mother as a father as a sibling as a child as anything you are most times when people give you corrections you don't want to hear it but you want to always teach you always want to hey see what you did let's learn to learn from others okay add it to your new resolution because you need it to all of us need it including myself i am not exempting myself you know i even always even i always even <laughs> i'm even very hard on myself so i not act like we're better than anybody whatever whatever the case be and yeah oh guys you know that oopsie sorry <laughs> And guys, you know that this month is my birth month. I was born on January 20th, so my birthday is coming up in 15 days. Today is the fifth. Today is, do you guess what the time is? It is 3.16 on Tuesday. That is Monday slash Tuesday. I never sleep and I don't know. I just wanted to achieve this and because i'm tired of my procrastination anyways my birthday is coming up are you going to do something for me i hardly get gifts on my birthday it's not fair oh. if people should show me support like you showed nengi <laughs> like you would like they are like nengi's fans so nengi's fans bought her range rover for her birthday can you imagine guys i'm getting old every time since i clocked 23 i've been feeling older every single year Oh god, and now I'm by far older than 23 and I feel so old. I feel like a grandmother. I don't want to be old. I want to be young. Anyways, send your gifts. If you want, you can con contact me on... Seriously, I need gifts. You can contact me on... Here on my comment section or... Or through my contacts like just write and show me some love I'll be very glad <laughs> but if you guys give me a laugh ah ah you know good you know, good I'm not anyways like I'm expecting gifts I know that you guys you just don't disappoint me please don't disappoint me okay and even for myself I'm gonna be getting gifts for myself I'll try my best to work towards certain things to be able to get things for myself and I might probably share things i would get maybe maybe not but yeah i'm getting older in 15 days january 20th a special day for me i just wanted to drop one word life is a mess you just have to rearrange things yourself you grab that so with this few points of mind i hope you've been able to pick up your own new year resolutions and like share with me if you want on the comment section and I'll be here to read your comments and reply you. Thank you guys for your support so far. Thank you, my subscribers. Thank you, my viewers. Those I don't want to subscribe yet. I'm still grateful. And every one of you, just thank you. But the thing you will do for me is just try to watch the video from the beginning to the end. Like I said, it's to help to invite more people. It's to help to attract more people to watching the video because it is 
it is engaging from the beginning to the end of the video and it will help to increase more views and share if you may if you can share like comment subscribe i'll be grateful so have a nice day bye bye